So, for today's movie review, I'll be reviewing the movie Deadpool, the recent movie in the X-Men movie series, and the first to come after X-Men Days of Future Past, since X-Men Days of Future Past rebooted the series, so that means instead of having Baraka Pool, that means we have the actual Deadpool. Now, here's the question. Did Deadpool really need his own movie? So, the main plot of Deadpool, it's about this mercenary named Wade Wilson, who gets experimented on by this um, British asshole named uh, Francis to make him a super slave instead of a superhero, but after experimentation gone wrong, Wade Wilson becomes this uh, vigilante superhero named Deadpool, and he just goes around killing various other mercenaries while trying to find Francis. In terms of what I liked about the movie, I like Ryan Reynolds' performance as Deadpool. It, it, he is definitely does a good job of playing the mark with the mouth, because before this, he only played Wade Wilson in um, X-Men Origins Wolverine, and he played a good Wade. It's just, with that movie, he became Baraka Pool. This year, we actually get to see Deadpool on screen for the first time. And I do like how the movie subverts the formula for superheroes a tad bit, because it's not like something like Spider-Man or Iron Man where the origin story is told in order, or you see them practicing their weapon or powers this year the story is told out of order in other words we start with deadpool being deadpool then it goes to flashbacks before he became deadpool and we already know that he's a mercenary so there's no like montage of him training to be good it's just him going around kicking everyone's ass that it brings you up to speed on stuff like that as for the humor it's a hit and miss because there's some parts of the movie where i did laugh a lot but then there's other parts where i'm just like really but i'll get to that later also i like the way they utilized colossus here because in the previous movies he didn't do much this year he actually has a bigger role than he did in the other films in terms of what i disliked about the movie the movie feels even though it subverts the superhero formula by telling the story out of order, I still get the sense that it, the movie itself is just really standard as far as superhero movies go. It just feels like your average PG-13 rated superhero movie with a few more tits and gore. That's about it. And the humor, I talked about it earlier, like some sh humor was a bit hit and miss, but the stuff that really bugged me was like the stuff where they talk about like the social media like uh, Twitter, Instagram, emojis. I feel like two years from now that's gonna be very dated. And the movie isn't as over the top as I was expecting it to be because I was expecting this movie to be like the video game where it is just really over the top. But at the same time, it was probably for the best that this was a bit toned down in comparison to the video game. I feel like if they, you know, made the movie like the video game, I feel like it would have been a bit too much. So, I think this is a case of the studio just playing it safe. So, for my final verdict of Deadpool, the movie is just okay. I'm not really sure why people are praising it like so, as such, but, I mean, as far as a superhero movie goes, there's better out there. Like... If you're a big Deadpool fan, you'll probably enjoy it. It's just, again, there's better superhero movies out there. And before I get my final rating, what did everyone else have to say about Deadpool? So it looks like people really liked this movie. And so, for my final rating of Deadpool, I give it 3 out of 5. So, to the people who actually read the Deadpool comics, what is your favorite storyline? And see you later.